up my dolls welcome back to Nicole of course as you guys can see from down in the title today I finally made my pesto noodles that I have been craving for a while now don't worry after this I want to definitely switch up what I'm going to eat but basically I went grocery shopping uh, earlier this morning and this is what we had in the house and it is later at night so I didn't really want to order food or go get food or anything like that I was hungry and I kept my makeup on um, pretty much uh, until now and then I usually take off my makeup when I'm done with my videos but anyways I figured to knock out a video and in my previous video I was talking about how my how I got my piercings when I was younger so I so I'm pretty sure that's what the topic is going to be uh, about in this video so let's take a, a quick prayer and then a thumbnail and we can dive right in Father God, I want to thank you for this food, and please bless this food. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Now, I have some shredded Parmesan cheese right here, and I'm going to just sprinkle it over the pasta. Wow, this is really hard to open. There we go. Okay, so I'm just gonna sprinkle some of this over the pasta so that it can look nice and pretty for the thumbnail. Probably on the bread as well. I should have cooked some on the bread, huh? Well, it's like four cheeses, um, garlic bread, but just make it look nice for the thumbnail. <clears throat> okay, let's take one real quick. Let me get it eating some. Okay. So, the reason I have the Cholula with me Oh my goodness. This is amazing. This is so good. Wow. Oh my gosh. It's really tasting just like noodles. Just like noodles would when I worked there. Oh my goodness. Mmm. I've tried pesto sauce, bought out the store before. And it did not taste like this. Mmm! So excited. Wow. I'm so happy I picked this up. And then the, the noodles are like thicker. They have something inside of them as well. And they are the roasted garlic. Um noodles but they were in like the frozen section and i always pass them but i never ever bought them but today i did they're really really good i'm really happy that i bought some but like i was saying when i worked at noodles i used to always put we only had um sriracha hot sauce at noodles and then later we got frank's red hot for the mac and cheese but whenever i picked um because you get a bowl of noodles or whatever you would want after your shift and whenever i made the pesto i would put sriracha on my noodles and eat it but we don't have sriracha so i picked up um the cholula mm. bringing back some old memories some good old memories <laughs> Ooh, this is not cold and I really wish it was but I do have some ice right here today I am drinking the I have to go pick some more of these up <clears throat> sparkling water beverage in black cherry this one I have to say is my favorite flavor something about it I just love 
so good. I've been drinking those waters of all different flavors and then a lot of freshly squeezed lemons in just like a nice cold glass of water in my cup. <laughs> mm. Hits the spot. This just came off the stove, so still pretty hot. Let me try to get some of this pesto sauce. I was like this close to not doing this mukbang. I was like, mm, should I just take off my makeup, put on a mask, and you know, just chill out for the rest of the night? But I was like, no, Nicole, let's just knock this out real quick. You're gonna really, really be proud of yourself when you're done. And that's what I'm gonna do. Knock it out. I was hungry anyways, like I said, so. Mm. <laughs> Might as well. Mind you, it's still early. I'm saying it's late because it's late for me because I go to sleep at like 8.30, 9 o'clock and wake up at 4. But it's probably not late to you guys. Sunday night. Hmm. Well, it's not going to be Sunday night for you guys, but that's what it is for me. Last day of the weekend, and then we gotta get back to the grinding on Daddy Chunk Chunk's channel. Mmm. Remember how I told you I went to the store earlier? I finally picked up our pumpkins that we're gonna either paint or carve. I wanted to carve them, but I think we just might paint them instead. Actually, I don't know, because the Halloween stuff is go becoming 50% off at the store, so why not just get a little carving kit, lay down some newspaper. I used to love doing that as a kid. Did you guys ever take out all the seeds and bake them? They're pretty good. About my piercing journey. <laughs> All I have to say is, kids, just wait. Wait until you can get a piercing. Wait until you can get a tattoo. Me and Dalvin has, has talked about this on his channel before. 
just wait because it's just not worth it <laughs> it's really not um so as i was saying before in my other mukbang i have some crazy stories of some of my piercings i'm going to start with the one up here i can't remember if it's the top or bottom but i have two that are right next to each other and then i have one a little bit lower and then the regular piercings that you would normally see um that everybody has so i was about 12 13 years old and i wanted this piercing so bad and my friend had hers and she was like yeah i just popped it through with a with an earring like no big deal like not with a piercing gun just with the earring and you just put all your might through it and into it and just push the earring through the ear and i was like oh okay like did it hurt and she was like no no not at all i was like oh mm. so we're outside <laughs> We're in my alley. Everyone used to play in the alley uh, where I lived. Um, not kind of growing up, but I had spent all my time there anyways. Um, so we were playing in the alley and we were like, okay. Uh, she was messing around with me. And she was like, okay, I'm gonna do it. I was like, no, 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 no. And then she like, we did, we did that back and forth for a while and um, she was finally like, just come here and let me do it, let me do it. And <laughs> she's, I'm like, okay, fine. And I'm sitting there like waiting for it to happen. And she's like, okay, just stay still. And then I start like trying to run away, but we're kind of basically just going in a circle. I'm like, no, 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 no. And like running, not running, but just like kind of getting away from her and just running in a circle. So while I'm doing that, she's pushing it through my ear and then i just hear a pop and it was through my ear and i was like oh, it's through i was like so shocked <laughs> i was like you got, you got it through it's, it's in there in my ears pierced i don't know she was like yeah um because they used to call me nikki please don't call me that i really don't like that name um now but she was like yeah nikki it's through like it's not a big deal um whatever uh, she was like that kind of person and I was like so geeked about it but my mom could not know she would get so mad mmm I just thought of another one <laughs> okay. so I have in total of three stories so that was that one I got my one of my ear top ear piercings and actually, it didn't get infected either, so I was so shocked. Uh, one of these top earrings pierced in an alley when I was like 12 or 13. My friend just popped it through my ear. And that's how I got that one. <laughs> the other two, I believe, were with a gun. I think. can't really remember. I know the bottom, the middle one was with a gun, but I can't remember if the top one was, the other top one was, or wasn't. Moving along <laughs> to my belly button. So I was in high school and me and my friends, one of my friends stayed like legit right down the street from our, our high school. And we were all in volleyball. And I think it was like the summertime or the beginning of the school year or something like that. And we were at volleyball practice or about to go there or we had a break something along those lines and we stopped at her house and her she already had her belly button pierced it was like um the five of us we had a name and it was so mm. listen those times are so cringy <laughs> but uh yeah we were all at her house and the girl she already had her belly button pierced the one that we were at the the that owns the house and all of us wanted to get ours pierced so she called over her friend and she was a piercer supposedly and uh so we get our belly buttons pierced 
in the in, either in between practices or right before we go to practice i don't know why we had the bright idea of doing it then we we were squatting and doing all this movement we probably shouldn't have done it but it didn't get infected at all either so I think I was the first one to do mine. I laid on her bed. And the girl who came to pierce it, she actually had a piercing needle. She didn't just stick it through with a, a regular earring, by the way. That's another story to tell. I tried to do it myself one time. Didn't end up good. <laughs> I'll tell you guys in a second. But I think I was the first one to lay down on the bed and get my belly button pierced. And I just remember just a slight pinch, nothing major. But again, I think I have a really high pain tolerance. So, I was like, oh yeah, it doesn't hurt, it's fine. And I was all cool with it. Never got it re-pierced after that. So, that's a good uh, deal, I guess. <laughs> and then, I want to say my friends, hers did get infected. <clears throat> I can't remember about the other girls, though. So, Moving along to when I wanted to pierce my belly button in my room. And this was like the same time I pierced this up here. Around the same time. I moved to a new house and I don't even know where I'm going with that. But anyways, one night I was just chilling in my room, bored. I don't know if a friend was there or not. No, I think I was by myself. And I wanted to pier, pier I wanted my belly button to be pierced. So I um sorry, I feel like I really have to get used to this hairstyle, you guys. Um so I took a regular earring, didn't sterilize it, didn't do anything. I know, young, dumb, and stupid, but I just started pushing through my skin, right? I get it about halfway there. And I feel like I'm ready to faint. <laughs> Mind you, I'm doing this in my room by myself, like talking myself through it, talking to myself in the mirror. I'm like, okay, I only have a little bit left. I can do this. I got this. I just got to keep pushing through it, the skin until I hear a pop. Finally get it done. I legit was like on the floor, like uh, lightheaded, wanting to do that and just out of it. I was just out of it. I don't know. I don't really remember what happened after that. I, I took it out, obviously, but <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. I just wanted my belly button pierced so dang bad. I wanted, I just wanted it done, so I did it myself. Mm -mm. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. That is funny. Let me know in the comment section if you guys have some wild, crazy story of piercing doing your own piercings when you were younger. I did a lot of dumb things when I was younger. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. I forgot. 
Okay, so one more. I have one more story. This time, my cousin had a piercing gun. And she had her lip pierced. And I thought it was the coolest thing on earth. I was like, oh, that's so cool. I want to get my lip pierced. She was like, I can do it for you. Another bad decision. I was like, okay. Boom, she popped it through. No big deal. Didn't hurt. I come home and my mom was mad. Really mad at the both of us. <laughs> she was the type of cousin that we were like always together, super, super close. She was so mad. She said, you take that thing out of your lip. <laughs> I was just like super scared because I was like really, really young. I don't even remember how old I was at that time. And yes, yeah, so I had to take it out. <laughs> mm. I had it in for maybe like a day or two. Then had to take it out. I am getting super, <laughs> super duper full, you guys. I kind of was full a little bit ago, but I kind of talked more in this video than eating. Maybe I can do this again so it doesn't just go to waste and then like add a twist to it or something like that. Or maybe eat the rest of it on Delvin's channel. I'm not sure, but this is really good and I don't want to throw it out because just wasting it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed my <laughs> piercing stories. Let me know, like I said in the comment section, if you guys have some similar stories or an even crazier one that I have had. Let me know for sure. Mm, leave a little leave a unicorn no not a unicorn I don't know just leave a comment down below to show some love and I appreciate it so so much you can follow me on my social medias on Instagram it's Nicole of course on Snapchat, Twitter, TikTok and Facebook it's Nicole of course with two E's at the end I'm going to sign off, you guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I love everybody. I love you, 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 and you. Bye, dolls. <laughs>